As we start to find out how many Afghan refugee families will be relocated to Pittsburgh, we're now hearing from a man who's on a visa here in the States but still has family left back home. Bryant Reed talked to him about the unrest. Nazrat Murad has been in the States for three years now. He, his wife, and kids are all safe, but he says he's been searching every day for ways to get the rest of his family out of Afghanistan since U.S. troops pulled out. I was a kind of hopeless and I was really disappointed. To be honest, when I hear that the news, I couldn't work on that day and I left the job. When he came to America from Afghanistan on a visa in 2018, Nazrat Murad thought he was also leaving his family in good hands. It wasn't even a thought that U.S. troops would leave and the Taliban would take over. And I was getting hundreds, hundreds of uh, messages and from my family, even my parents, they were not believing and they were saying that you're not helping us. We are here. We are hearing all the sounds, the attacks. Murad says he reached out to any contacts he has to try and get his family to safety. I couldn't do anything. Still, still, I, I mean, when I talk to them, they can't believe it that I couldn't do anything. I'm very, I got very disappointed, but I don't know, um, is it clear or not? Will I be able to visit my family? He says many of his friends in the States are fighting the same battles, trying to get their families the help they need. He talks to his mom and dad whenever he can, but he's fearful for what could happen to them. If anyone is um, whom used to work with the U.S. government in Afghanistan, they are treating their family down there. I'm very, I mean, concerned about that, about the safety of my family. Uh, I don't know what to do. And all the borders are closed. And even um, um, now that they have uh, the control of uh, international airport in Kabul. So um, I don't know uh, what to do and what ways are there so I can think of it and to evacuate my family. He says they once felt protected and now so much uncertainty is in the air. When I was in Afghanistan, I was at least knowing that um, at least uh, we have a government, we have the troops and we have the soldiers. We have, I mean, um, all the other countries who are supporting us. But now you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. Murad says his fight isn't over. He's not exactly sure what will happen in Afghanistan, but says he's committed to doing whatever he can to make sure that his family is safe. I'm Bryant Reed, KDKA News.